guys, it's Ryan, and today I'm here with Anthony. And today, in celebration of the Netflix series, we are going to take a quiz to find out what Avatar The Last Airbender Nation we're a part of. Let's do it. I'm Fire Nation because I'm spicy. All right, so I am going to take the quiz first. Let's do it. Okay. You wake up on a boat next to a hall of flopping fish. You can't remember your name or what nation you come from. The captain That's is- concerning. But this is so interesting. The captain is kind and offers to help you find your home. Do you go wherever they're going? Do you ask to be dropped off right away? Or this is all very confusing. You're not sure what to do. Okay, that last one is me. Because okay. even the question itself is confusing to me. Yeah, oh my god. I'm not going with these random strangers wherever they're going. That is, that the social anxiety in me not happening. But also if I get dropped off right away, I am not gonna know how to get home. True, very So true. this is confusing. I don't know what to do. I might just jump in the water and let the shark eat me. All right, let's see. I can see that you're confused. I am. Do you know about the Four Nations? I do not. There's the Water Tribe. They live in tight-knit communities at the North and South Poles. Why does they voice depend change? on the ocean and I didn't read fast enough. You thank the captain for the information, but still don't know which nation <laughs> you belong to. Oh, I have to choose one of those <laughs> oh, two. That was, it was pointless. If someone said that to me, I'd be like, this guy is nuts, drop me off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want, you want to be dropped off Yes, then? I yeah. do. I right, ask to be dropped off right away. I'll drop you at Kangaroo Island. The fortune teller at the top of the hill is a bit strange, but you can trust her. Oh, Jesus. I remember Kangaroo Island. Upon arriving at the docks, your stomach growls. Fortunately, there are plenty of- I think I'm hung- wait. What is that noise? <laughs> I'm confused about everything. Fortunately, there are plenty of fish in the sea, but how will you catch one? You see a sharp stick on the ground or net that belongs to a nearby fisherman. I'm not using my hands. I'm gonna use a sharp stick. Congratulations, you caught a tasty fish. It's raw, but it's tasty. I think I'm getting sick. Yes. You weave a path through the bustling market, but find your path blocked by a man with a cabbage cart. The Cabbage Man! You don't watch Avatar, he doesn't watch Avatar. I don't, I don't know who that is. Where's the option that you don't say a word, you just politely go around him? Um, well, that's kind of find another way. All right, then yeah, that's what okay. I'll do. You wander through the market and find yourself at a beautiful waterfront with perfectly flat rocks for skipping. I love skipping rocks. Yeah, you're, you're gonna throw it? Yeah, um, or continue on your journey? I'm gonna continue. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Mostly because I can't skip rocks. As you continue on your journey, some kids yell to get your attention. They are throwing around a boomerang and ask if you'd like to try. I would say no thank you and keep walking. All right, so tell them you I would tell them time. I don't have time. All right, yeah, you got somewhere, you got somewhere to be. Yeah. You gotta find out who you are. I need to know what I'm oh, doing. Oh, this is you, you gotta narrate it. Uh, I simply, oh shoot. I simply don't have time. I have a date with Destiny instead. That's impossible, I don't have dates. <laughs> You complete your journey to the fortune teller's front door and hear a woman humming a tune inside. I would say, is that my date? You're gonna knock on the door, walk in, or recognize the tune and sing along with her. If I knew the song, that's I would sing along with her. That'd be me. All right, um, so I think maybe we should Yeah, go let's with, pick yeah, that, but I probably won't recognize the tune though. You don't know. Uh, maybe maybe she's singing like a Fall Out Boy song. In or, Avatar, Fall Out Boy yeah. exists as a band. <laughs> she laughs with delight and tells you to enter. Upon hearing, you see the fortune teller is peeling potatoes next to a pot. It this goes, goes so way fast. too fast. The fortune teller asks you to sit and meditate on the steam rising from the teapot over the fire. While you're focusing, she accidentally drops a few of her peeled potatoes. I would pick up the potatoes. She'd be like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, I'm just helping you. She'd be like, no, keep meditating. You rush to pick up the potatoes. How can you meditate when someone needs help? Yeah, that's me. I can tell you desperately want to know which nation you belong to, but I want to ask, what will you do when you have your answer? I don't think I even care what nation I belong to. I feel like I would want to just get home. Alright, I'm gonna return home. <laughs> I'd be like, listen lady, I don't know what this whole nation thing you're talking <laughs> about is. Can you just get me to my house? And his nation is... Fire! You're definitely not fire. No, you helped, no, I know. You helped her. I know, I'm not. You're a waterbender! I love water. I am persistent. I anticipate difficulties and work to stay ahead of them. I'm also community-minded, peaceful, and altruistic. Altruistic. And he tends towards perfectionism at times, which can cause anxiety. Hey, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's actually a pretty decent reading. I can take a photo. All right, wait, yeah, take a photo, take a photo. What the? <laughs> you see my, what did it do to me? All right, Ryan, let's see which one you're gonna get. It's my turn, let's do it. Are you gonna go wherever they're going? Ask to be dropped off right away, or it's all confusing? I'm gonna go where they're going. I'm all about that adventure. 
We're headed to Ken- You're going to the same place I went. Yes! <laughs> I love kangaroos! Upon arriving at the docks, your stomach growls. Wait a second! This seems awfully familiar. All right, Ryan, how are you going to catch your fish? Are you going to use a sharp stick, steal the net, use your hands, or forage for kelp instead? I'm going to go with use my hands. Okay. Oh, wait, you get to play a little game. Oh! Touch I made, and drag. I made the right choice. I see plenty of fish, but they're out of reach. Oh, wow, this is hard. Ryan is not good at this. This is Unless it's... Maybe you can't grab I them. think I'm not supposed to because I think it, it just doesn't work. As you pull your hands away from the water, a fish jumps straight out of the water into your grasp. Things are looking up. In what world? In what world would that happen? You leave a path through the bustling market, but you find your path blocked by a man with a cabbage cart. Finding another way, tell him to move you're in a hurry, or offer to help him move his cart. Social anxiety, I would just avoid any sort of interaction. I'd be like, nope, I got my headphones on and I'm going around this guy. In what timeline does Avatar take place? Not, are there headphones? There are no headphones. I didn't think so. But I would just like shove my fingers in my ear and I'd be like, ah, music, music, music. <laughs> and the, the cabbage guy goes, what are you listening to? Fall out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> because the lady in the house over there is humming it. I'll offer to help him move his cart. Okay. Like, listen, dude. Your cart's in my way, but I'll help you move it. Are you gonna grab a rock and skip, or are you going to continue on your journey? I feel like I'll, I'll throw the rock. I, lo I love how that they freighted it instead of skipping it, you're throwing it. So it's implying that you're not actually <laughs> skipping it in the water. I'm just chucking you're just it chucking in. it at the cabbage guy. You know, I don't, I don't want. I feel like this is like an earth bending answer, like Earth Kingdom, and I don't want to get Earth Kingdom, but I'm gonna throw the rock. All right, throw it. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh you my god! I keep getting game. games. You made all the wrong choices. Yeah, I did. The Touch. rocks are there for taking. Touch and holds to grab a rock. Flick to launch. Do you see rocks? Cause I don't see Just click see any rocks. grab anywhere. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Sick. Whoa. Wow. That was at least three skips. Let's try to get four skips, ready? Oh, no. Oh, oh <laughs> it's spinning fast, it's spinning fast. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, five. six. And then it went. I can't see. That was a good. One. Was there a six? There was six. There was a six. Okay. Uh, tr trust me. You complete your journey to the fortune teller's front door and hear a woman humming a tune inside. Do you a knock on the door? B walk in. C you recognize the tune. Sing along with her. Just walking in is so crazy. Yeah, that's like nuts. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna politely knock on the door. Just a uh, knock. Before you can even knock, you hear a raspy voice say, "Come in." It's Mulligan. It's a raspy voice. <laughs> oh no. Stop meditating and help her pick up the tomatoes. Do you follow her directions and keep meditating or do you, or meditation is hard, you watch the fire instead? I think that I will, see, I feel like this is a firebender, fire nation. Okay. That's what I want, but that's cheap. So I'm gonna, I'll follow her directions and keep meditating. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty focused guy. Oh. You meditate on the steam as it flows from the teapot. Touch and drag. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah. I have chosen, you got no games. Yeah, I didn't get a I've, single one. I got like three so far. I can tell you desperately want to know which nation you belong to, but I want to ask, what will you do when you have your answer? Do you want to return home or do you need more information before you make your decision? I'm just, I'm gonna or do you want to just zoom in I'm the screen? I'm just going to zoom in the screen all the way. Ryan is earth bending the screen right now. No, I don't want to earth bend. It's too late. You've already chosen that. I'm explore the world. I see. It's actually pretty obvious. Um, I, can, I cannot tell you your, I don't want to tell you your name, even though I know it. Um, but I will tell you your nation. I actually, I know your address too, but I'm also not going to tell you. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I got Earth Kingdom and I- uh, You totally did. I definitely, I threw the rock. Yeah. I, it's probably only because I chose to throw the rock. That yeah. was it. Let's see. It's either, it's either Earth or Air. Yeah! I'm the Avatar. You tend to be peaceful. It feels natural for everything around you to work in harmony, but when conflict arises, you're ready to solve problems no matter what it takes. You're also cooperative, generous, and spontaneous. If I could pick three words to describe Ryan, spontaneous is definitely one of them. <laughs> <laughs> At times you struggle to work through conflict. Yeah, yeah. If someone said describe Ryan in three words, I'd be like, uh, yeah, spontaneous, generous, and handsome. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> Should I take a photo? Uh, no, you have no choice. I have no choice. <laughs> Ryan's the Easter Bunny. No, I'm... The Easter Bunny. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Wait, what is this? 
We didn't oh, see we that didn't, for yours. We didn't read mine. I'll have to see it when I go back in the edit. But I have my special- <laughs> Mine just says nothing. Yeah, maybe there was nothing. <laughs> my special achievement is tattoo artist. And my animal <laughs> companion is a possum chicken. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I would really appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe. Maybe comment, maybe comment twice. Maybe comment three times. Anyway, I know I only posted one video last year. Let's try to get two this year.